archaeologists make relentless efforts to discover artefacts of ancient history. Each one of these adds to our knowledge and helps in completing the existing historical puzzles. These discoveries not only provide us insight into our ancestors' lives, but at times raise fresh and unique questions, which may take decades or even centuries to answer. Whatever the case, new items salvaged by the archaeologists help historians to build a comprehensive picture of specific areas, eras, beliefs of people in various regions, the system of governance and social development. However, these also shed light on certain myths and mysteries related to certain structures built by the kings and religious communities. Today, we'll show you some historical personalities, natural structures and strange objects which have always been associated with incredible legends. Nampa Figure Some people believe in mythology, strange things and controversial stories. They associate distinct events with items recovered by archaeologists. In 1889, while some workers were building a well in the city of Nampa, Idaho, they discovered a mysterious tiny figure which was even less than 5 centimeters tall. It's estimated that the mysterious doll was discovered from a depth of about 90 meters. The figure was made of fire clay. Its filigree shape pointed out that it was actually made by humans. However, the most disturbing part of the legend is that logically the figure should not have existed as the object was locked in deep rock layer which scientists estimated had an age of about 2 million years. This was conflicting because they believed that humans weren't raiding the planet Earth at that time. What do you think? Is this figurine proof that some extraterrestrial civilization existed and an incident of time travel took place? Or is it just a fake discovery? So far, no one has been able to relate some logical evidence to explain the Nampa discovery. Several people suggested it was a fraudulent act and the figure might have been placed there much later. Well, we don't have enough knowledge and evidence to corroborate the facts. It seems quite illogical as to how someone could place an object like this at the depth of 90 meters when it needed quite heavy machinery to dig it up. Probably, we'll never be able to ascertain the myth. The Alien Pharaoh the history of ancient Egypt is full of mysterious pharaohs. They built mammoth buildings during their reign and left a lot of material evidence for study by the subsequent historians. Pharaoh Akhenaten is one of the most famous rulers of ancient Egypt. His subjects encountered a rather unprecedented situation when he came to power and faced far-reaching consequences due to decisions imposed by this strong ruler. Pharaoh Akhenaten forced the people to renounce the old deities whom they had worshipped for quite a long time. Pharaoh made it mandatory for them to worship just the sun god, Aten. Akhenaten was born as Amenophis IV and finally conferred upon himself the world-famous name. He dedicated the newly built capital Akkad Aten to the then most powerful of all the deities and gods. His own appearance has been equally puzzling, like bizarre changes he introduced to the cultural norms of his country. By having an attentive glance at the 1,000-year-old statues of the powerful Pharaoh, we can conveniently conclude that Akhenaten did not look like a conventional human being. Often he was depicted with a mysteriously large pointed head, disproportionately large almond eyes and unbelievably thin limbs. We can assume that his curious appearance was probably attributable to the fact that Egyptian art also underwent radical changes during the reign of Akhenaten. Although the artwork before the reign of Pharaoh Akhenaten had been based more on realizing the depictions which now almost seem to be exaggerated caricatures. Additionally, it had repeatedly been accepted that, in reality, Akhenaten had suffered from a hormonal disorder that changed his appearance noticeably. This might have been a result of acromegaly, which is associated with a chronic excess of growth hormone. As a part of this clinical image, the body parts known as acra, such as hands, feet, ear, chin and nose, take on an unusually large size. Dedicated pre-astronauts, however, could hardly have an earthly explanation in this regard, the hypothesis is based on the assumption that the ancient residents of our planet were usually indulging in pleasant exchanges with the extraterrestrial creature. The legend related to Akhenaten takes this controversial theory to an even further epoch. It's said that the ancient pharaoh had been the descendant of an alien. Do you believe it or not? Let's know your opinion about this incredible thesis. Share your views in the comments section. Sinisca Sinisca is known to be the daughter of the Spartan king, but hardly some people know that she had been one of the most exciting personalities of ancient Greece. Her story remains shrouded in mystery and not much familiar to the general public. In addition to being a Spartan princess, Sinisca also has the unique honor of being the first female Olympic champion in history. 
She was the daughter of King Archidamus II, and she had an unmatched passion for horse racing. In the years 396 and 392 BC, Sinisca managed to win the Olympic victory with a four-horse carriage. Although in that era women were not permitted to actively participate in the Olympics competitions, but as per practice in vogue, the victory was attributed to the owners of the horses instead of the riders taking part in the competition. Accordingly, being the owner of the horse's carriage which won the competition, Princess Sinisca was honored with the unique status of twice winning the Olympics championship. Her victory remains unprecedented in history. Secret Cave in the Grand Canyon The Grand Canyon is located in the north of the U.S. state of Arizona. It is one of the most spectacular attractions available on our planet for lovers of natural beauty. It is approximately 450 meters long, has a width varying from 6 to 30 kilometers, and a depth reaching up to 1,800 meters. Every year, this immensely impressive gorge attracts a large number of tourists from all over the world. The Grand Canyon has also remained in focus for wild speculations. In 1909, a local newspaper from Phoenix, Arizona, filed a story narrating that an ancient Egyptian cave had been found in the center of the Grand Canyon. From an official historical point of view, this claim seems to be just a hoax, as it's believed that due to the distance involved and the rudimentary means of transportation at that time, none of the residents of the Pharaonic kingdoms would have visited the North American continent. However, still, we can have a look at this report filed about a century ago. As per the report, an explorer visiting the Colorado River observed a mysterious cave located in the cliffs on the river banks. Based on the excitement caused by his discovery, the explorer immediately contacted Smithsonian Institute staff who took the responsibility for ensuing investigation. The development that followed was incredible, as the workers are said to have discovered 40 truckloads of ancient Egyptian artifacts from the mysterious cave. It was also revealed that the walls of the immense central cavity were decorated with hundreds of hieroglyphs, Keeping in view the fact that this unprecedented discovery would have caused a chaotic impact on our existing history, the staff of the Smithsonian Institute tried their level best to cover up and downplay this sensational discovery. Accordingly, all evidence related to the presence of the ancient Egyptians in the North American continent was promptly destroyed. Some exciting stories regarding the Grand Canyon are also the result of rumors that there's a hermetically sealed exclusion zone inside the gorge. The fact that no one is permitted to visit this exclusion zone further reinforces the perception that this amazing natural wonder would have been visited by people that we'd never have thought could travel to and live for hundreds of years in this far-flung area. Hidden Chamber in Library In 2010, a few researchers at the National Library of India in Kolkata discovered an unexpected chamber in the library. The building currently used as the library was originally built in the 1760s as a palace, and subsequently in the late 19th century it was converted into a huge library. Its main purpose is to collect, preserve and disseminate the material printed in India. After the discovery, speculations arose about the purpose of constructing this secret chamber. Some opined that possibly it was meant to store forbidden knowledge which should have been kept away from the access of the curious world public, whereas some others assumed it to be a secret torture chamber where poor victims might have to suffer cruel treatment. Some theorists believe that the secret chamber was used by the British occupiers for storing their treasures, which they'd stolen or extracted from the local population. Nonetheless, the official explanation offered in this regard negated all these speculations and conspiracy theories. Neither secret writings nor instruments for the brutal torture and not even a hidden hoard of sparkling gold treasures could be recovered from this secret sensational chamber. The experts believe that the chamber was just a simple recess constructed in the basic structure to provide additional strength to the foundation of the massive building. Whatsoever be the logic, but the conspiracy theorists did not get convinced so easily. If speculations were to be believed, then the researchers must have encountered something stunning or terrible that flabbergasted them, and they did not dare to make it public. The rest of the library has always been suspected of being haunted by ghostly spirits. A few examples of unbelievable acts which happened in the library include mysteriously falling books, self-moving furniture, and unexplained noises. The Forbidden Temple The Old Testament informs us that the Jerusalem Temple is that holy place where God will live alongside his people, but the building corresponding to the prophecy does not exist on the ground at present. In reality, the temple building, which accrued immense religious sanctity and acted as a sanctuary for the residents of Israel for quite a long time, had been plundered by the Roman invaders in 70 AD. It was set on fire and ultimately destroyed. 
However, by looking back into the history, one comes to know that the Jerusalem Temple was not the only religious sanctuary in Israel which served as the focus of religious rituals. There had been another building, which may not be seemingly impressive at first glance, but it becomes extremely exciting when we learn about what the Old Testament had to narrate regarding this. It's written in the Old Testament that God had predestined a previous Israeli temple for his worship, and that was the structure that was on the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. Therefore, it's implied by some that the people who participated in religious ceremonies held at the Second Temple had rebelled against the direct commandments of God. In the 1960s, archaeologists were able to discover the remains of the mysterious temple located in the center of the desert. If the Jews were only supposed to worship in the First Temple, then it seems that the forbidden building had still been used for at least 300 years for religious purposes. The Hall of Records the magnificent Sphinx of Giza had been constructed about 4,500 years ago. The monumental Egyptian structure comprises the body of a lion and the head of a human being. Despite a lot of research, it still holds several mysteries. Some experts believe that the head of the Sphinx had a secret passage that led to a hidden underground city. Another legend informs that there had been another hidden gate near the Sphinx that connects it with the so-called Hall of Records. In the light of this myth, there is an ancient library that holds all the secrets of knowledge of the ancient Egyptians. Some people perceive that the Hall of Records is holding the collected works of another civilization. Access to this hidden treasure of knowledge is believed to be located in front of the Sphinx's paws. Some American experts decided to unearth the reality of these myths, and they dug seven meters deep into the ground, in front of the paws of the Sphinx. They failed to uncover the suspected tunnel, but the seismic measurements gave clues regarding the existence of chambers beneath the Sphinx. Fearing likely damage to be caused by excavation, the Egyptian Antiquities Authority prohibited any further search projects. What's your opinion about these mysterious places? Do tell us in the comment section below. We'll be back with another informative video soon. Until then, have a great time. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on the upcoming releases.